Do you have any idea what kind of career you'd want to have in the future? Some may think about how a college degree won't even help. But on the things that you should know to help you decide on a career path is how much a profession pays. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the highest paying jobs. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. We all know that the buses can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. There are a lot of odd jobs and professions in the world. Some work in offices and some work from home. But before you start working, you have to choose which path to go on. And one way to help you decide is knowing what are the other highest paid professions in the world. We know it's not about the money, but these factors might help you reach a decision. In this episode, the bestest is going to help you jumpstart your career. At number 10, we have Computer and Information System Managers. Believe it or not, but Computer and Information System Managers earn an average annual income of $150,000. This is a category that comprises inventors, researchers, and even theorists. These people use their theoretical expertise to fix problems and develop new technology. This includes hardware development, complex theory, and programming softwares. Researchers also develop virtual reality technology and even robots. And computer and information system managers are great at working with other specialists, such as electrical engineers in developing complex machinery and computer systems. There are more high-paying professions included in this episode, so make sure to stay with us until the end of this episode. The bestest has so much in store for you. At number 9, we have Air Traffic Controllers. This profession involves coordinating the direction and altitudes of commercial and private airplanes to make sure they travel safely. Air traffic controllers primarily concern themselves with everyone's safety. Aside from that, air traffic controllers earn an average of $160,000 on an annual basis. Being an air traffic controller coordinates properly to prevent delays, eliminate mistakes, and work quickly. They usually monitor several aircrafts at once. And that's not all there is to being an air traffic controller. It is considered as one of the most stressful jobs in the world. Working as an air traffic controller also requires being in a dark room monitoring small images on the radar scope, and it requires great eyesight. At number 8, we have patent attorneys. We know that lawyers earn a lot. Whether they are employed or doing their own practice, these lawyers definitely know how to play their cards. But patent attorneys earn an average of $175,000 annually by working with top clients on their own multi-million inventions and technical processes. Among the patent attorney's main responsibility is defending and protecting intellectual property just by dispensing valuable legal advice. Their clients consult them for their professional expertise and knowledge. At number 7, we have Dentists. A career in dentistry can give you a potential salary of $213,000. Dentists advise their patients on good dental care, dental hygiene maintenance, including diagnosing and treating dental problems. They also have the knowledge to carry out minor procedures. A qualified dentist can then choose to specialize in a particular area. But you will be needing a bachelor's degree in dentistry as a start. That's not all. You would also need to complete all the necessary practical training in order to move forward as a dentist. At number 6, we have Physicians. These earn an average of $227,000 yearly. There are two different categories when we talk about physicians. We have general practitioners and specialized physicians. General practitioners are usually the first point of contact for patients. They have a broad knowledge of different conditions allowing them to help patients suffering from the simplest cold to a rare disease. 
Specialist physicians focus on clinical medicine and have extensive knowledge in the area they specialize in. But before becoming a physician, completing a medical degree and finishing a residency program is something you have to do. This is also a process you need to take to obtain your physician license. We know it's a long road ahead, but it's all worth it. And now that we're halfway through this episode, maybe you already have an idea on which career path to take. But what do you think of the careers highlighted in this episode so far? These careers may take a lot of effort and definitely a long time, but we all know it's worth it. After all, great things come to those who make them happen. So start making your career happen today. However, let's move on to our episode. At number 5, we have orthodontists. Unlike regular dentists, orthodontists specialize in fixing crooked smiles, aligning teeth, and treating dental disorders. And they earn an average of $304,000. They examine patients and fit them with the appropriate braces and retainers, helping them adjust the structure of their teeth and jaw. Orthodontists go through some training procedure as dentists. They also need to complete a postgraduate orthodontist course after their initial dental degree. This is among the highest paid careers you might want to try out. At number 4, we have anesthesiologists. Just like surgeons, anesthesiologists are trained physicians who specialize in perioperative care. They have a potential salary of $411,000 per year. Anesthesiologists play an instrumental role within a surgical procedure. These are the people who ensure that the patient receives the correct type and dosage of anesthesia while under the scalpel. Like most of the high-paying jobs, becoming an anesthesiologist is quite a long and exhaustive process. It takes at least 12 to 13 years of medical training. They're surely among the top earners in the world. At number 3, we have surgeons. These highly medical professionals earn an average of $496,000 annually. A day in a surgeon's life involves carrying out the pre-operative diagnosis, performing surgical procedures, and checking in with patients post-operation. This isn't a career fit for the faint-hearted. Becoming a surgeon requires working long hours, dealing with life and death situations, and always being ready to be on call. You will need to complete medical training to become a doctor, but also spend an additional amount of years specializing in a specific field. After toiling 10 years in medical school, being a surgeon is ultimately fulfilling, both psychologically and financially. A doctor can save countless lives performing crucial life-saving operations. Of course, specialist doctors have the potential to earn higher, and that is why being a surgeon might be a career path you'd like to take. At number 2, we have CEOs. Depending on what company they're head of, these people can earn over $15 million. Their role requires a diverse skill set. This involves great leadership to communication and decision-making to business management skills. It takes a lot of dedication in order to become a successful CEO. You surely need to be prepared to put in the hours. Although there are no specific educational requirements, a relevant degree or course in your chosen sector is a good start. Nonetheless, the most important factor there is is experience and natural charisma. Back in 2012, the average pay package for top executives in U.S. public companies was $15.1 million. But McKesson CEO John Hammergren beat the record with an annual compensation of $131.19 million. The salary is just an icing on the cake since most CEOs also sit as chairman of the board of corporations. They get stock options, bonuses, and other fringe benefits. And that's not all. You get to present a lot of business opportunities to the company. Like every career, it's just a matter of taking things one step at a time. All great career paths are part of an amazing process. It only takes an effort and a little bit of patience. The business has presented you with a lot of options you could check out. 
And now we're almost at the end of this episode. At number one, we have hedge fund managers. Yep, if it shocks you, then now the business is telling you that hedge fund managers earn over $1 billion. Managing investments in a hedge fund is highly lucrative. Former Goldman Sachs trader David Tepper earned $3.5 billion in 2013. Damn! Fund managers often work under the 2 and 20 rule where they charge a 2% management fee and another 20% for performance. This is on top of their own capital, which they often invest in the funds, and earnings often skyrocket when the market is bullish. And you'd only need great accounting and organizational skills. Now prepare yourself for a start of a new career. Knowing how much of these professions earn would help in making your choice. So have you decided on what career path you'd want to take? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestes and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.